Now listen to some of the scriptures that he said on possessions. This is one of my personal favorites. Numbers 33, 53. And you shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. The word dispossess, listen to what it says in the Hebrew, by driving out previous tenants and possessing in their place. That's exactly what the Hebrew says. So what he said here with these previous tenants, you go into where it's already occupied. Do you remember Jesus saying, occupy till I come? He wasn't talking about just sit around and read your Bible and occupy your Christendom and occupy the pew. He was talking about occupying the enemy's space. He's, and, you, and this is what he said, you will dispossess the possession. So he says here, dispossess the land to possess it. You have to dispossess before you can possess. If you want the land that flows with milk and honey, if you want to have the kingdom of God, God's kingdom and Christ as king invade your domain, invade your space, if you're willing to let him do it, in 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 invade the right to yourself, invade your selfishness, then we can get behind those two leaf gates, the gates of hell, and you can get in there and get your inheritance. But the moment you co come out of Egypt, out over in, the moment you come out of Egypt over Jordan and into the land, you have to dispossess, as it says right here, listen to it, to dispossess is to drive out previous tenants. You have to drive out these previous tenants. If you drive these tenants out, then it says, and you will possess the le that land that's, that's available. Now you will occupy. So when Christ said, occupy till I come, he meant stay in warfare, stay in prayer, stay in, a, in, in advancing against the enemy, keep turning the battle to the gate, keep binding, keep loosing. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. And religion has taken that to prosperity again. Money, wealth, riches. Let me say this to you. Kingdom mentality is whatever I bind, I bind anger. I bind hostility in my life. I, bi I bind resentment and bitterness. I bind unforgiveness. I bind uh, backbiting, gossiping. I bind judging, indicting, accusing. I bind that in the name of Jesus. I drive that out. If that's what my flesh likes, and there's a lot of people like to gossip, then what you have to do is move into the covenant of circumcision sever and cut that flesh off so that you can have a the flesh will not enter into the kingdom of heaven jesus said that no flesh will enter into the kingdom of heaven paul came around and said it same thing a little different but it means that no flesh no carnality is going to enter into the kingdom of god so if you and, and no uh, effeminate no adultery effeminate means malakos no males that are have uh, female tendencies they'll never enter the kingdom of god so you're looking at the, the kingdom of God and showing us adultery, fornication, all that, perversion, uncleanness, pornography. All that stuff is what keeps, that's the gates of hell. That's what's keeping you from coming in to the land that flows with milk and honey.